all right guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and if you're not i pray that your day gets better so in the last episode of this um we went to stone tower and suffered a good bit you know that was a good hour and a half of pain and suffering but look what we have now we have the great fairy sword and that is absolutely incredible because you know it's the best sword in the game also let me turn my headset down also oh my god the cable for this shit is so finicky man Nope, now I gotta restart this. There we go. I'm gonna try not to touch that cable. Um, the reason I even got that in the first place, because, you know, obviously it's the best sword in the game. Um, by a lot, right? And we don't have the Razor Sword or nothing or the Gilded Sword, so... You know, why not go ahead and get it? And plus, you know, I think it's just fun to sequence break in general. You know, kind of the whole reason I did it for Ocarina of Time, kind of the whole reason I'm doing it for this game, you know? But, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, um, if my mic sounds a little bit louder than normal, that's because I was fucking around on Black Ops 3, and I didn't know this, but Black Ops 3 fucks with your mic settings, and it kind of, like, ch changed the levels on my mic, and I had to manually go back and readjust them after the fact. Um, because the game, it'll, like, adjust your mic levels, and then when the game closes, it will change them back. But, of course, that's not what happened, because the game crashed, and it never set them back, so my mic was blown out. But I tried my best to set them back to what I thought was normal. I mean, it seems like it's clipping on the thing in OBS here. It seems like it's clipping. It might be too loud. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Once I finish recording this, I'm gonna have to play it back. So, hopefully, the audio isn't horrible. If it is, well, I don't know. Sue me, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um, I said in the last episode too that we was gonna go ahead and finish up Snowhead, and that is exactly what I intend to do here. That's why we're traveling over here. I, you know, I just forgot we have Index Warp. We could have literally had just... Ah, whatever. We could have literally um, just warped the snowhead, but that's fine. You know what? I'm still do that because it's a lot. Um, What was it? It was... Woodfall? No, Woodfall was Clock Town. Deku Palace was... Deku Palace was snowhead, right? I think so. Mountain Village. Close. Um, what what else we got here? Romani Ranch was... Woodfall. No. Let me think. Snowhead took us not to Snowhead. It's none of these. It ain't Clock Town, is it? It might be Romani Ranch. It is Romani Ranch. Okay. Yeah, uh, we don't have much left to do, really, in the game. I mean, there's... Well, that's a lie. That actually is a lie, because there is quite a bit to do. Um, like, we still have all the masks to get. Also, let me pull up this song, because I forgot what it was. A right left. Got it. Alright. Um, there, there's a lot to do. I, I actually... Um, plan on getting all of the masks in this, in this series but you know first off i want to do all the dungeons right i think that comes first and then we're going to go back through and get all of the masks that includes you know the cafe mask quest um just all of that that stuff that, that entails you know Because if you don't know, um, if you collect all the masks in this game, you actually unlock a secret mask at the end of it, which, I mean, this game's old enough. I was going to try, like, not spoil it, but, I mean, this game's pretty old. Um, 
so i mean you, you've probably already seen it right like fierce deity mask oh don't send me back it sent me all the way back um fierce deity mask and that mask is just sick for a lot of reasons right we could also like glitch out the yeah there's ways to use the fierce deity mask outside of uh boss rooms by using you can like abuse okay so you remember in ocarina of time bro not again bruh holy shit all right i guess i'm gonna have to take my time um you remember in ocarina of time uh the pc port when i had to steal the fishing rod and i was doing that glitch to um basically i would what, what was it i did i would um dive in the water and then I, it would stick me out and i would mash b really fast and then i, I would like be able to move around with the fishing rod well sort of that same thing happens in this game with the Zora mask if you put the fierce deity mask on like a C button you go into the water and you do that same trick and then mash your C buttons whatever um, then you could put on the fierce deity mask outside of normal gameplay now obviously there's a lot of issues with that right um, one of them being it's extremely easy to soft walk the game because <clears throat> oh, this guy don't turn his back. Oh, he do. Ah. Oh. Oh, right. We have this. I already forgot. Um. Got fire arrow. We can, we can kind of skip like most of this dungeon, actually. Yeah. Um. What was I going to say? Damn, I already forgot what I was on about. Shit. Oh yeah, I was saying um, it's really prone to soft walking, and one of the major ones is if you talk to an NPC with um, with your CD mask on, some of the NPCs in the game will actually just straight up crash the game, right? So that's no fun. Oh right, we need a lens, right? All right, um. That's definitely not supposed to be like that, but oh well. So we need to get across here. Well, I got hookshot. We could literally just wow, thanks. We could hookshot across. Having hookshot kind of make trivialize this dungeon so much. It's crazy. Uh oh, that's an issue. Um. Can we do this, maybe? Fuck me. Ugh. I'll just put on the damn Goron mask, I guess. Ah, shit. I wanted to be cool and, you know, use my items as secret spray for it, but nope. Oh, nice camera. Holy shit. All right. Okay. Can I uh, hopefully I can do this from here? Let's see. Let's put on the old Here we go over here is where I could do it Might as well throw on the hook shot save the some arrows There we go, and then there's one right here. I almost forgot about uh, this dungeon's fairies just gives you, um, double magic, so... Once we... Okay, so that takes us back there. Basically, once we clear out this whole dungeon here and go get the fairy... Like I said, we're just going to get double magic, so... What's down here? Goron switch? Sure. See, this is the problem with um, the Great Fairy Sword is it's a C item, right? And that means that now we have one less C item to work with, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Come here, come here. No, 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 don't run. All right, third straight fairy. Oh, th this uh, this messes with the central platform here, so 
Um, if you missed my explanation in the last episode, so this dungeon's whole gimmick is it has this central platform, and you're supposed to raise it and lower it and all sorts of shit um, to fill in the gaps, but you don't quite have to do that, honestly. Um, there are so many ways around that, especially since we have hookshot, right? There's just so many ways around that that we're probably not even going to have to fool with that, and that's what's going to speed up this dungeon so much so so much all right well i guess we gotta do this luckily i came here and got fire arrows already <laughs> yeah we literally, we literally came in this dungeon hook shot it up to the fire air fire arrow mini boss and then left and that was literally the whole thing and then we went straight back to a uh, stone tower to get the uh last fairy we needed well the last two fairies there's two we couldn't get Oh, we are definitely not supposed to be in this room yet. Um, let me get the bow out. Wow, really? They made these guys like invulnerable to a lot of shit in this game. You used to be able to kill them with pretty much anything in Ocarina of Time, as far as I remember. And you used to be able to hookshot them too, but you can't hookshot them anymore. Very strange. I think that is a fairy chest, if I'm not mistaken. I hope so. There you go. Okay, that was the one fairy chest in this room. Having fire arrow this early kind of breaks this dungeon, by the way. Like, we can skip so many key doors, it's insane. Alright. Like, half of these are... Like, we should have probably had, like, three keys or something by now, but we're just kind of skipping having to do any of them. Okay, so that... Hmm. I'm trying to think which rooms here take us to where. That takes us back to the start of the dungeon. That brings us to that one room. Where does this bring us? Ah. Well, we don't actually need to do this puzzle. Oh, we kind of do. We need to move these out of the way so we can get in here. I think there's a fairy in here. No, this is just a key, I think. Well, we still need a key. I'll take any keys we can get. We could skip a majority of them, but, you know, in case we come off, come across any, like, hitches. I'm hoping that, you know, the last uh, two episodes I've dropped, well, not episodes, just videos in general. I was going to say episodes of, like, this. I've dropped, um, have come out late. I don't think this one's going to come out late, just because, um, I doubt this episode is going to be as stressful. Like, you know, the the last, uh, two episodes of Mardor's Mass have been, like, three hours long, something recording time, edited down to an hour and a half, right? I doubt I'm going to run into that issue again. Like, maybe with the Cafe Mass Quest or something, right? Um, but I don't go run that into that issue like ever again. Oh, yeah, I need to check this room. Does it still have a fairy? It does. Um, I'm trying to think. Where would that be? It ain't the ceiling, is it? I know that one of these rooms has, like, the fairy is in the ceiling. That would be lame. Nope. Well, there is that chest there. Is there a button, like a switch we're missing? I mean, I guess we had to move this anyway, huh? That sucks. Oh, well. Um, yeah. We got most of the hard shit out of the way. You know, like, doing Stone Tower out of order was, you know, something. Um, getting Index Warp. And just all of the stuff we did in the first episode kind of took a big chunk of time. But we're kind of through all that shit. Now it's kind of like we can just kind of go through the game probably normal for the most part now so hopefully that means uh this video will come out on time no i was forgetting something i, I thought there was a chest there but ah, yeah my shell ain't gonna show nothing the other way i wonder why those fairies don't refill your bruh 
whatever. I wonder why those fairies don't refill your um, health and or magic, you know, that's a little weird. Like, fairies are known for refilling your health and shit in these games, but those ones don't. A little weird. You could just, you, you know, I love that trick. It's one of those tricks that you could just, like, feel when you get it right, you know? It just feels right when you do it. Alright, this is the room I'm thinking of that has... It's either in the wall or... No, 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 this ain't, this ain't the room. Either way, I need to... I doubt I could use a fire arrow to break that open. Oh, a little bit too too late. Really? We'll just stand here with it. There we go. Alright. That all for this room. Ah, oh, shit. Compass. Well, I'm going to say this is the compass, not the map. Hell yeah. Um, hmm. That's froze. I think the switch over here is what actually we need to hit, maybe. Is this a Goron switch? Whoops. Fucking ice physics, man. I could just do that. I mean, the, literally the the um, kind of area on that shit is fucking huge. I don't know why I didn't just do that in the first place. That spin attack is not missing anything. Huh. I love sequence breaking these games because like the. Once, once you're done, you know, you kind of skip to the end. You get all the items that make the game easy, like cook shot, great fairy sword, all that shit. It's just so, I don't know, relaxing to just go through the game. I don't know. I enjoy it. I'm sure there are other people that, that have the same thoughts, too. But sometimes it's fun to just sequence break the game just for the sake of doing something different, you know? Like... I played this game like a bazillion times, you know. Uh, I want to play it the same exact way every single time. You know what I mean? Uh... Fairy? Nope. Don't make me put on Zora Mask for this, please. Really? Can I not do a gainer as a uh, regular Link? Is that not a thing you can do? Because I feel like I'm nailing this right now. I mean, I guess I couldn't. I guess it's possible I'm fucking it up, but I feel like I'm pretty good at doing gainers. Maybe it's just not possible. As, um, Young Link. Weird. And this must be... Nope, this is another key. Okay. Hmm. We don't have to do anything with the, the ceiling. What What is the purpose of this room? Oh, I see. That, this is, this is the room I was thinking of, where there's like a fairy in the wall. Yeah, check this out, so. Notice the, the snow kind of coming out of the, the wall here. Yep. Yeah. And somewhere in here, there's a fairy. Somewhere. Bruh. Uh, or is it a chest? Oh my god. It is a chest. Okay. I thought there was like an actual fairy in the wall I had to hit. Okay. So, that's that room. Okay, that's a key door. I think we could pass up on the key doors here. Just try to save our keys. We still need to find the boss key. I actually don't remember much about this dungeon. And that includes where the boss key is. So, I'm going to try to kind of just wing that. Dude, Zora Mask is so useful in this game. It's crazy. 
Please. Please. One time. One time. Okay, that that was my bad. Please. And here I was just saying like I'm I thought I was pretty good at him and I can't fucking hit it anymore. You know, I'm stupid. We could just hook shot up there. We don't even need to do all this nonsense. Fucking hell. There we go. Alright. Kind of backtracking through all these rooms for the sake of saving two keys, but it's worth it. Alright, we still don't need to go through that room. Let's go. Oh, we need to go through this room. I think that that room is actually what takes us to the boss key. If I'm not mistaken. Either that or that is used to raise the central platform. Bro, that's what this room is? No way. I done goofed. Alright. I'd light all these torches, but I mean, there's not even a fairy here, so no point. Uh, is that pot up there really the fairy? Don't tell me it is. Okay, I didn't think it was. Alright, so neat trick. If you missed the last episode, we did this, so you can come over here where this red door is and notice how there's a torch up there. You can come like right up here. Is this close enough? This is not close enough. Right here. See how we can barely see the torch? So now we gotta get ourselves like this. Oh, we might be too far. Yeah, let's get a little bit closer again. You can come like right here. And then, I think it's like this. There we go. And then boom, we skip having to use like a million keys. Oh. There's another hole in the wall. Let me actually throw on lens so I can see if that's another chest. I think that's another chest. It is. I think we can hook shot to that. No? Might be able to. I hope we can. Be a little disappointed if we can't hook shot that. Ooh, probably not gonna be able to. Hmm. Maybe if I could... Uh, well, we could definitely hover to it. How many bombs do I have? 16? That might be good enough. Because that, that is 100% a fairy. You know what I could do? I could get up there and then just kind of like side hop and then jump slash through there or something, right? Might do that instead. Save the bombs. Yeah. That's probably all I'm gonna do. I think that room actually takes us up there anyway. So, there's these rooms. And I actually haven't been in either of them, right? Um, I'm actually going to just check real quick and see if they have anything. Whoa, chill. We don't want momentum. There we go. Because they might have fairies, and I just wouldn't know. Because we're kind of, you know. Alright, this one for sure has a fairy, right? Yeah. This is the room. This is 100% the room. Please. Alright, so check this out. So if I throw on lens here. Yep. See that? My man's in the ceiling, bro. We gotta bust him out. There we go. 
I think that's the only fairy in this room, so now we're free to go. As soon as this guy comes down here. Alright. Is there a... Well, yeah, we can hookshot the box. I was going to try to do another gainer, but... Clearly, I'm not doing too hot on that. Okay. Uh, oh, hookshot back over here. They had to put this here just, like, in case you came back, right? Like, that is... That is way too convenient of a spot to have that torch, man. They must have been like, oh, you know, they might backtrack. What the fuck? Okay. They might have been like, oh, they're going to backtrack with the hookshot and get these fairies. Like, that is way too convenient, you know? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Uh... I guess we can jump down and see what's down here. This is nothing important. This is probably like the map, actually. Indeed. Um, I think we need to... Unless it's in one of these crates. It was not. I think this is just to kill all the enemies room. Probably is. No? How weird. There's m there is a single fairy in this room, but I can't think of where that would be. Okay, so the map is oh. I see. Well, how the hell do you get this fairy without the hookshot? What? Huh? Bro? Is there an invisible wall here? I'm just not seeing it? Or is the collision just fucked? Oh. Okay. I was wondering how that worked, because that seemed weird to me. I actually don't remember ever doing this. Weird. Which then again, it's literally just a double magic uh, reward for doing these, right? It's not the best thing in the world, which would explain why. Wait. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that we got the fairies in that room. All right. Now I need to go across this gap. Oh, it's this guy. Fuck. I meant this. Damn it. Alright, whatever. We actually have the uh, Great Fairy Sword. This won't be too bad. Yeah, look at that. He's already on this phase. That's funny. <laughs> One jump slash and he's done. <laughs> Two phase. That's funny, man. Ooh, I wonder what's in this chest, actually. It's probably just like a rupee or something. We already have fire arrows. What's going to be in it? Yeah, blue rupee. El mayo. Whoa, chill, 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 chill. Woo, Lord. Holy shit, simmer down. Okay. Let me see if, first of all, I want to see if I can hookshot it from here. That would be ideal. I don't have to risk nothing, risk falling down, any of that shit, right? Let me get a little bit further up here.
Let me throw on lens here too. Perfect. What the fuck? Fall damage. There you go. Okay. If we, I mean, if we don't come across the boss key, uh, I, I could be wrong about this, but it seems like the boss key skip for this dungeon is like stupid easy, right? So, I don't really have to worry about that. Okay, so it wants us to go down there. Um, I mean, we could always hover across here. Uh, we might have to to get up there. Is there any torches? No. Doesn't look like there's any on that side. We're actually going to have to hover across here. So it's a good thing I saved those bombs. Um, But we need to check out this room. So. Hey. Big man. Oh, right. Great fairy sword. Alright, so that was literally that entire room. Cool. Where does this go? Does this go up? It does go up. Up, don't shut. Alright. Oh, that one shot that guy. Amazing. Two fairies, bro? Alright, well, there we go. Shit. Now we're done. Alright, uh. Guess that's this entire room. So that's the boss key. Do need that. We need to get across here. Uh, hopefully I don't fuck up these hovers, cause but do, using the blast mask to hover is just not a good time. Also, let me take off this mask. I thought I'd backflip too early there. Let me put the hook shot on so I can see where I am. Oh god. <laughs> We're only halfway across. I think so, right? Okay, we're here. Good. Yeah, the reason we need to do that is because, you know, we kind of haven't been raising the, the platform like we're supposed to, so... It's either that or it's nerf or nothing, you know. What's in this room? Oh, this guy again, huh? Okay. Why you gotta be across the room from me, bro? That's fuck. Ah, uh, don't don't spawn on the elevator platform. Alright, give fuck. Oh, nice camera. Please tell me there's bombs in one of these pots. That would be ideal. No bombs. Unfortunate. We have this now, though. And then we get to fight my man, Goat.
Man, is this the fastest we've completed a dungeon so far? I think it is, right? And like out of literally all of the series, this is probably the fastest, right? I don't think we even completed a dungeon this fast in Ocarina of Time. Is that true? <clears throat> yeah, I think that is true. Well. Wow. Alright, let me put on fire arrows and I'm going to try to do a cheeky little side hop into here. You can do that. And that's actually what I did as a kid to kind of skip doing this shit. I guess I could get I mm, there's a few ways I could do this uh damn it man all right let me see if I can actually get on top of this first okay and then let's hang ourselves like this that doesn't work oh oh god Alright. It's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. How many bombs do we have? We have like six or something, right? I get no, we have eight. We can hover across. Okay. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I actually despise this dungeon's whole mechanic, but thank god it's just so easy to bypass the entire thing. Makes life so much simpler. All right. I don't. I don't have very many bombs, so I'm gonna have to like. I'm gonna have to like really nail this ISG here, which I mean, it's literally just ISG. It's not the hardest trick in the world, but you know, fucking fucking it up sucks. Yeah, that's not gonna work. You can get ISG off of, like, stabbing the bomb like that, too. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Time for the blast mask covers. Uh, I'm not quite sure how well this is going to go. Oh, are we below it? No, don't tell me we're below it, dog. We definitely are, aren't we? Or no? Are we? I don't even know. Holy shit. We're like right here, I think. Fuck. Okay. We are right here. Perfect. That was the perfect amount of bombs for that. All right. So funny thing about the blast mask, um, doing bomb hovers with it is little weird. Uh, you have to um, backflip. And then you need to, what is it you need to do? You need to shield and press B on like the same frame. That's why I pause buffered it there. Otherwise you get fucked, so. I wish I could say the Great Bay is gonna go as smoothly as this temple did, but oh, it definitely will not. I might keep this episode to a one hour time span just so I don't end up having another late upload. Try not to dip into the hour and a half mark. I guess after this dungeon we'll go do some uh go get some masks. Yeah, that's that's what we'll do. Uh this boss is funny. Um so you're supposed to chase him around the track with uh Goron mask and like kinda run into him with uh, spot, you know, spikes on the Goron mask, whatever. Um, I'm gonna try to do this other strat, though. You can literally do this. You can come over here. I do believe you can come, like, right here. Nope. 
Oh, shit. Well, you can, like, stand right here and just kind of, um... What, what is it? You can, you can like, shoot him with the bow over and over and, like, kind of quick kill him, but... I guess there's, like, a setup for it that I don't know. So, whatever. We'll just do it the normal way. Fuck it, man. What's up, my man? Hey, that's fucking cheating. Can't do that. Yo, I wonder if light arrows... Do you think light arrows would do extra damage to him? I'm curious now. I want to see. Once he comes back around here. I'm bad. I think it's doing extra damage to him. I'm not sure. Hard to tell. I mean, the effects play in, so I'd have to assume that it is. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it's doing that much extra damage. Well, I mean... Hmm. These are falling from the sun. They don't really do that, that until he's kind of low on health. So maybe it is. I don't know. Ow. Why am I facing this way? There we go. <laughs> I was trying to find a way to put away the bow. Oh yeah, he's weak as fuck. Bruh. <laughs> the cooldown on the bow is so annoying. Like, what's the point of even having these additional arrows, you know? Damn, we're actually kind of low on health. Fuck. I mean, this is the price you pay for dicking around, I guess. Wait, which way is he coming from? He is coming from this way. Bruh. What a time for that to fall! That was insane! What the fuck? Alright. That timing couldn't have been better. Alright, we'll just do a vanilla. For real, for real. Oh, he weak as fuck now. Ow. Do I gotta cut him off? Is that what this is? Alright. What a strange boss fight. You're literally like kind of racing this mechanical goat thing. Very weird. Not necessarily racing, I guess. I don't know. It's just a weird boss. <laughs> I don't know. I like it, though. It's a cool boss. This game, is it got very creative with, like, its bosses. Like, well, I guess the first boss isn't that creative. It's literally just, you know, hit it with your sword, LMAO. Shoot it with the bow, hit it with your sword. That's the entire boss fight. But this one, you know, you gotta use the Goron Mask, kind of race it around the track shit. Damn, bro, how much health you got, homie? Alright, I think now we can just kill with the normal bow. Um, and then Great Bays, you gotta fight it in the water and shit, use the Zora Mask. I like that, you know, the bosses are really good at utilizing the mask, except with the exception of, like, Iconis, right? Iconis is... Hey, you're not supposed to come that way. Jesus. Uh, Icon is his early... Well, I guess the Giant's Mask, right? Giant's Mask and utilizing the Fire Arrow and the Ice Arrow, if you have them. Unfortunately, I did not, and I had to suffer. Oh, this game is just so good, man. I, I, could, I, couldn't, I couldn't suck this game off any harder if I tried. <laughs> Honestly. I think this way is 
path we need to go, right? Nope. Well, looks like we're going all the way around. Sucks to suck. Wait, where's the thing? It got higher pitched. Excellent, excellent. Got three men. What what is this man's words of wisdom? Yeah, see now this is great bays. See it's like blue. What the fuck? We want you to lend us your power if you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Curly are the only ones who can stop it. <laughs> Help our friend. We have to help the last one. You'll cooperate with us. Of course. Hey, look, you and your friend are going to survive. Yay. Oh, that thing on the right wasn't there before, was it? That door? I don't think it was. <laughs> I love how he had to tap him on the shoulder and be like, Hey, bro, you're not cold anymore. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Now the only area left in the game for us to really do is uh, Great Bay. Oh, we missed out on the, uh, the frog mini boss in Snowhead. Hmm. I might have to, like, just get back to that later, I guess. Whatever happened to the Goron guy that was up there? Oh. There was a Goron guy in there, and he gives you the, uh, uh, what is it? Kim Kimaro mask or something? There is a chest right here. Silver Rupee? Red ruby. And then there is a chest uh, over where we found that kid's dad. There's a chest. Okay, so that goes up there. This is new. Oh no, this just... Does this take us all the way up there? It does, huh? Wow. Okay. There's a grotto in here too, if I'm not mistaken. Whoa, what the fuck? That is so satisfying. <laughs> what? So satisfying. Oh, we need to go to the, uh, I almost forgot, dude. We need to go to the damn Great Fairy and get that, uh, get the double magic before I forget. Shit, that, that would be a tragedy. I do all that and then simply forget about it. Holy shit. Wow. Sick grotto. Huh, this does take us up here. Well, not really anything to do up there. I think I if I'm not mistaken, wow these guys respawn. Uh there is a heart piece over here in in the water, like where the ice was. Um I wanna grab that. And then we can go back to the Great Fairy. Bruh. There we go. Should be a heart piece. Oh, I like how the chest <laughs> re release an air bubble. Or is that us? No, that was a chest. That's cool. Is there anything else down here? think there is 
not anything important. Oh, here's something. What is this? More rupees? Probably. Hey! And these guys, too. Demonic motherfuckers. Guess that's it. Bro? I still can't go up that? That's lame. Okay. Chill. Chill. I don't think there's... Alright, what about over in Goron Village? I don't think there's anything we can do there now. Eh, there might be, but... Oh, well. Oh, I don't have uh, Ocarina equipped. I would like to have Ocarina equipped for that. Okay. What mask can we get right now? I guess we can get the, um... Oh, this guy's awake. What's up, bro? What in the world have I been doing this whole time? Why am I sitting in a place like this? Yeah, really. Um... What mask could we get right now? Let me take a look. I'm missing a lot of masks. Is there any we unlock by beating Snowhead, specifically, I wonder? Well, there's one in, uh... If I'm not mistaken, there is a mask in Clocktown we haven't gotten. Like, talking to the, uh, Song of Storms guy. Yeah. What is this camera? Holy shit. Alright, so... Ooh, chill. So the ferry to Snowhead is right down here. Yep. Pick off the mask. Cause I, might, I might use this as a thumbnail here. Last time we got the Great Fairy Sword in the damn thumbnail. Uh, I was going to use like the actual like, you know, Link putting his hands up. But, yeah, you know, I'll score on Link, so. Great Fairy of Wisdom. I shall enhance your magic power. Well, that's going to help movement anyway. We didn't spend too much time even getting that, so. Pretty pretty nice little enhancement to get. Alright. Damn, are there, are there really no masks we get from unfreezing Snowhead? I'm trying to think, and I don't think there is. Yeah, no. There's some at, there's like two or three at the ranch, and then there's... Okay, what, there, there's quite a few we can get at uh, Clocktown. Like, the large majority, actually. Um, I think Deku Palace is what takes us back to clock down. Nope. It was Woodfall. Bruh. Yeah. I think we get the Keaton mask from talking to the Song of Storms guy over here. Um, we can get the cafe mask from talking to What's Her Face, the mayor's wife, I think it is. Um, chill. What else? We can go get the Bremen mask at the ranch, I guess. And then we can get the Gorman's mask. What's up, bro? They said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Now I'm sad. I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah, yes, I'll do that. I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. 
Why could a man join? That's because a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the dog the leader? He always had a stellar troop no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why, that's why, that's why I stole it. The dog's mask, I stole it. I wonder because it was the leader's mask, but I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. There we go, there's the Bremen mask. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly and they became adults in an instant. Oh, wow. Music filled up the whole area now. So basically what he's telling you is, well, I guess you'll just see in the next episode or whatever. Um, what else can we grab here? I mean, there, there's the chest minigame part pieces. There's four of those, I think. Get those. Um, get the all night mask. Yeah, how much is the all night mask? Don't tell me I need the, uh, Gornwall. Oh, what a mistake. I didn't mean to activate your cutscene, dog. This is the curiosity shop, yeah? 10 p.m.? Oh, well, it's about to be 10 p.m., so I'll just wait. We can buy the all nine ads from this guy. I think it's... I hope it's 200 rupees and not anything outrageous. Otherwise, we're shit out of luck on that. But that unlocks the heart piece from Grandma. What else? I don't think we can get the postman's hat. We could clip into the bar, maybe, and get the, uh, Gorman's mask. And then the Garo mask. I don't know how we get the Garo mask. I don't quite remember. This game has so many masks. What's up, bro? What, he has nothing? Wait, is it a day three, like, only, not three only item, then? Weird. Maybe it's not two. Okay. Can't do nothing there. Uh, we already did swordsman training stuff. The lottery gives us a heart piece. We'll have to uh, do Song of Time for that, though. There's so nothing in North Clock Town. We can get a heart piece from that. Um, How do we get the postman's hat, man? Let's get the cafe mask. Let's go ahead and do that. There is a way to clip in here, but I don't remember how. Yeah, we don't have the Romani mask, so we can't do that. And this guy's closed, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this so that we can make it daytime. Dawn of the second day. Yes. God, how do you how do you get the postman's mask? I'm having trouble remembering that. Oh, bro. We'll uninvert song of time for now while while I try to figure out where stuff is. Okay, we need to get a Pona. Um and then we can race the the Gormans, and then that lets us Shit, what is I think racing the Gormans gives us the Garo mask, maybe? Or no, maybe it just gives us the Gormans mask? I'm not sure. Hmm. None of this gives us anything really useful. There's a silver rupee up there, but... Just leave it. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. I wish I knew how to clip into here, though. Maybe I could find a setup. But is it really like nah? Wow. Wait. Let me look up okay. where to uh, clip into Romani. Whoops. 
Umani bar. Clip into milk bar. Okay. Hold target from the loading zone. You can climb fence and target as a backup. Target? Oh, wait, okay. Let me just watch it. Okay, we can go in here now, right? No, 10 a.m. Uh, target in line corner with fences and press B to punch the fence. Take off Goron Mask and retarget. Turn left. Walk directly forward to climb the fence. Target press A and hold to insulin drop from the fence. Kill drop a chew and release forward to roll. To recoil. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't seem like it's t too bad. Might be able to do that. Let me try it just one time here. Oh, I don't have choose. Oh, we can't even try it even if I want. I don't have choose. Um, it doesn't seem like it's that horrible though. Like, all right, you come through here, target. I'll just show you guys real quick. All right, come over here. All right, come over here. On in the corner of the fences. Press B to punch the fence. Take off the Goron mask. Well, that's supposed to like flip us back this way. Whatever. Either way, it doesn't seem like it's that convoluted. It might be easier to just, cause like I've, I've noticed at least on here, uh, targeting like the, I don't know, something about the gates are fucked up on here. Where, like, it doesn't really align like it should, I guess. It doesn't turn quite how it should. Which I think that's just a problem with, um... My, like, controller settings through this application I have set up, but... Eh. Setups are hard. Alright, there's Cafe Mask. Okay. We can... can we get couples mask right now? No, I think we need the um we gotta clip into What's his face? Cafe side out. I'm gonna try that. If it ain't too hard, I'm gonna try it. It doesn't seem like it's very difficult. Who knows though? It could be. I'm gonna just try it one time, you know, just from eyeballing what I know it looks like, just kind of guesstimating, and then, you know, if it works, it works. Alright, let's see, so, you need to come over here, I think we need to angle ourselves like this. Uh, that doesn't look, seem right. You can kind of like recoil into the door here. That's what I'm trying to do. Hey, there you go. It's actually not that hard at all. Alright. Oh, this guy isn't even here? Is it a knot only? Oh, bro, don't tell me it's a not only. Can I skip? Skip to not three, or not two, please. Oh. Rolling, bro. Well, now that I know that's not very hard, I think we can get Couples Mask right now and kind of skip the entire quest. That would be uh, pretty cool. I'm going to try it. 
Because the, the cafe mass quest is a long one. It spans literally all three three days. There's one of the frogs. You know what? Maybe Snowhead doesn't have one of the one of those guys. I don't know. Nope, he's just not here. I guess there's a certain flag we need to set that we just haven't set. Um, maybe I need to talk to Andrew with the mask first or something. I don't know. We'll worry about that all that shit in the next episode. Let me get the song of time here so we can save. Um, with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and in turn brings new people to the channel. And if you really liked the video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. I try my best to upload every day at 9 a.m. EDT and occasionally expect a double upload at 9 p.m. EDT. But next episode, probably do Great Bay, probably do Cafe Mask. Either that we're going to go to, or we're going to go to Romani Ranch because that's like like a different mask locked behind that, right? Um, but yeah. Can we get Postman's right now, actually? There's a certain mask we need for Postman's. I can't remember what it was. Well, that's all for me, guys. I'm in this episode here. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and peace.